It's like we're on the edge right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be me testing out overhyped makeup meaning just makeup that's talked about so much and used so much you're like is it really good why is it talked about so much i want to know the tea on it so i just found a couple products that are talked about a lot kim kardashian west huda beauty um iconic london like these are some of the products that you just hear over and over and especially on instagram like you see them use so much so much. With that being said, I figured I would do a dedicated video and test out some of the most hyped up products at the moment. And I'll uh, tell you guys the tea and like on my honest review of them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we're gonna go ahead and jump in. I really, I really, oh, one announcement. Cast Pajamas is gonna be on Beauty Bay on December the 6th. So just letting you guys know, if you're international, you want Cast Pajamas and don't wanna pay that high shipping fee, check out Beauty Bay December the 6th. They will have the palette in stock there. Besides that, I'm gonna sing the subscribe song and we're gonna jump into the video. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. To get started, I think I'm gonna start with some base makeup. So I'm excited about this new concealer. It's the All Nighter Concealer. It's a waterproof concealer from Urban Decay, and I've actually already used it. <laughs> I couldn't resist because I actually adore the foundation that's in this, which doesn't always mean the concealer's great. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my thoughts. By the way, the color I'm using today is Medium Light Neutral, and I think it's the perfect shade. The consistency is very similar to the foundation. It's just very thick, um, really a lot of coverage. This is my second video I filmed today, and the first one I filmed was testing out fake makeup. And if you can see right here, these little bumps, and right here, I'm whelping up right there. I'm whelping up the makeup. I washed my face, but the makeup, the, whatever was in the makeup is making me whelp up. So I'm sure it was full of bad chemicals. Great. But anyways, back to the concealer. It's super full coverage, but I feel like if you have dry under eyes because it's just so like, and adheres to your skin so well that I feel like it would just like cling to those dry skin or like those baggy, like the wrinkles in the under eye if you're not careful. I do like the concealer though. You just gotta moisturize a lot before you use it. And I've seen it talked about a lot, very hyped up. The All Nighter Foundation was very hyped up as well. All the things Urban Decay comes out with is hyped up. Urban Decay has a lot of good products, so rightfully so. Um, but, you know, I'm here to crack the code for you because I haven't spoke on this concealer at all, like to you guys. And I know I get a lot of questions on their stuff, but if you can see, like it's so full coverage and I really like that about it. So I'm gonna set the concealer real quick. I'm just going to use, I'm actually going to use this little highlighter brush to set it today. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Okay, I applied a little setting powder. And the next product I'm going to be testing out is the Iconic London. This is like a super, super hyped up Instagram brand altogether. I think every product they come out with, you see it all over Instagram. They do have a lot of good products. Like I've been skeptical with their products and then I test them out and I end up liking them. So I see why you see everywhere. I haven't cream contoured in forever on my channel. So these are like... <sighs> okay, here's the tea. They said they're just pigment sticks. So honestly, I think you can use them as contour concealer foundation whatever you want so um this one is in 3.1 and i think this is gonna be my right shade so i'm gonna cream contour with it they're pigment sticks and like see holy crap that's a lot of pigment i think i put too much great i haven't used these before this this is like a new a newbie to me put a little bit on the nose I'm gonna take a Y10 brush. It's like this mini Kabuki and I'm gonna blend this out. Mm-hmm, she put way too much product. <laughs> oh my God. They are a pigmented pigment stick, but like that blended out nice. I just think I put a little too much on my cheekies. So I'm gonna be blending this down to my elbows. Oh, but it's pretty. This is a nice color. 
Mm, that's really pretty actually. It's like blending out pretty nice. I like it. Just gonna know how to use it. That's the beauty in first impressions. You just make all your mistakes the first time on camera. <laughs> All right, let's do the nosy posy. Sometimes the finger does wonders as well. I think that that product is really nice. It blended out so well. I think it's super pigmented, so you gotta be a little careful with it. And I also think that this color worked out very well for me, so I'm happy. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of the setting powder. Now we're gonna work on a highlight. So for highlight, this is the winter highlight palette, which I haven't tried out yet on my pal on my palette. Lord have mercy on my channel, but Huda Beauty and um, the colors are not typically colors I would go for. So I'm really interested to see how this is gonna try out. We have Arctic Glow, Winter Rose, Northern Lights, and Frosted Kiss. Here are swatches of all of them, so you guys can kind of get an idea of how these look. They all look really light, to be honest. And like my skin tone is a little bit dark. And whenever I put such a light highlight on my dark skin tone, whenever I look directly at you, it looks like rays on my cheek. It looks really pretty from the side, but like straight on, it just turns so gray and I hate that. I honestly think like Winter Rose, the pink one is gonna work best on me. Let's see, obviously everything Huda Beauty does is super hyped up. And again, she's come out with a lot of good stuff. So like, I understand why. I'm just here to crack the code. I also don't have a makeup wipe, so I'm like, what do I do with my hand? All right, so I'm gonna take Winter Rose. This is an R36 highlight brush. The one I use, this isn't the one I use for powder, but it's the same brush. I just have two of them, because I like them a lot. So here I go, I just swirl my brush around. Oh my God, it's kind of interesting. It's like, can you guys see that? It's like a pink highlight. I don't know if I like it. Let's try Northern Lights on the other cheek. Actually, Northern Lights is prettier on me. Like it's pretty, I just, I don't know. Let's mix a little bit. I think whenever you get into weird highlight colors, like um, it becomes creative makeup and that's so beautiful and I love that. But um, you know, it's just like, I don't wanna look, see, I don't know if it has like that little bit of a gray hue on me. I just have to be so careful with highlights. Do any of you guys experience that too? Who have like a medium to deep skin tone? Like you just can't get into lighter stuff because whenever you're looking straight at the camera, honey, or straight at someone in real life, it just looks a little crazy. So, I mean, it just depends on your skin tone. The actual quality of the product I think is really nice. Um, I just definitely won't be able to wear all the colors. Let's move on, shall we? Okay, I know you guys want to hear the tea on this. This is the new KK Beauty. This is her lippies with their like glitter lip gloss. And then she also came out with dust pigments and they're supposed to be really sparkly and beautiful. So let's start with trying out the uh, pigments. And this cool shade right here is called Rose Gold. And it's like a pink with an iridescent gold reflective in it. I love the containers. I think they're so cute. I really haven't seen a container on the market that looks like this. I'm like, okay, I see you. Um, so I'm actually just gonna, it's like a little salt shaker. Little salt and pepper. You guys must think I'm crazy. Because I am. So I got some on my brush. This is an M421 brush. I'm gonna mist it with a little Fix Plus because any pigment I've ever used in my life, I missed it. You can mist it with water as well. You don't have to pay the $21 for the Fix Plus. I personally love Fix Plus. It's an overhyped product. Oh, can you guys see how pretty that is? <gasps> it, it, pigments are always a little crazy to work with just because it's literally a loose powder flying everywhere. But um, the wetting it helps and also like, geez Louise, this is pretty. And cover my whole lid. I have to go to an event tonight. So here's my makeup for it. Holy dusty everywhere, but I mean that just comes with the territory of a pigment. Um, I think it's really pretty. So let me go ahead and do the other eye and then I'm gonna swatch the other colors and just show you what they look like. This color is actually kind of subtle. So let me try out. Oh, I just poured out the bronze everywhere. Here is bronze. 
It's really pretty. They're like pigments, but they have like uh, glitter in them as well. Here is copper. Has like a reddish tint to it. This is yellow gold. It's literally a yellow gold. I don't know how else to explain it. And the iridescent shade is literally just called iridescent. Actually gonna pop a little bit of peach in my outer corner cause, cause my eye needs something. It needs something to happen here. Okay, next we have these little glossy wassies. So I'm gonna be trying them out. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna try out first bronze. So the glosses actually match the eye colors. I mean, these are all kind of lip toppery and I feel like they all look kind of similar. Like this is bronze. This is rose gold, maybe just a little less sparkle in them. They're very, very, very similar. Copper. Unless, like honestly, like just my opinion, unless this is just a collector's item, which a lot of makeup is collector's item, unless this is a collector's item to you, I see no reason why to buy all of these because I really don't think you're gonna be able to tell the difference. We have yellow gold. And iridescent, actually, you can tell a little bit of a difference. Like it looks kind of cool. It, you can tell it's iridescent. So I would say this one is the one you can tell the difference, but the other four, I think looks super similar. All right, next product is this Pat McGrath liner. I think all Pat McGrath products get really hyped. I think we all get really excited about them. I definitely do. And I definitely have talked about them a lot on my channel as well as like so many people, if you type in her name, like it's talked about so much. So this is a liner that came in her kit and um, it is the double ended black liner marker. One end is sharp and pointy and the other end literally looks like a marker. So I'm gonna try it out and see my thoughts. I haven't tried this product before. Whew, I will admit my strong point is more so with a brush, not a felt tip liner, but I'm gonna try it out anyways. Do not tug on your eye like I tug on my eye. I hate how much I tug on my eye and I watch it after I do it. I'm like, Laura, wrinkles, baby, wrinkles. Uh, I'm literally struggling. I made that wing so big. I mean, if you guys are okay with me being Catwoman today, I'm just gonna be Catwoman today. That's a big ass wing, <laughs> oh my God. Like it's so, black and like you don't have to go over it too many times because of how much product comes out but girl this felt tip's a little difficult <laughs> okay i did the best i could like i don't think that this is my best wing liner and again that's because that felt tip honey Ugh. but the actual product like the liner does not dry shiny really and you guys know i'm like a stickler i'm like eh, anti-shiny eyeliner so i like the way it dried okay i'm gonna pop on some mascara and lashes and then we're gonna move on to some other products. Okay guys, and lastly, I just wanna talk about one more product because they're so, 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 so hyped. It's the Stilla. Now these are different than the Magnificent Mo Mo Magnificent Metal. Magnificent Metals, that's the name of them. These are a little bit different than those. This is the uh, Shimmer and Glow. This is their new one that's been talked about a lot. And I know I already have my eyeshadow on from testing out a pigment already, but I still wanted to tell you guys like the tea on them because I know it's a super overhyped product. Um, these are actually amazing. I wore these all in New York the whole entire time. They didn't crack, they didn't crease, they didn't chip. They lasted so long. They're just as good if not better than the glitters. Like this is a genius product and like just honestly I was obsessed and I'm going to continue to wear them and I know they're talked about so much so I figured I'd just bring it up and like let you guys know the TT on it but um yes it is a very good product. Mm. And I added a random lippy just because like I don't know I just felt like these are just like such a little clear gloss. I'm gonna add a little bit more rose gold. Why not, right? 
looks good. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. Honestly, only the lip glosses, I think they all look the same. And then the highlighter palette, like just for my skin tone, you gotta be careful with your skin tone, they're hit and miss. Um, but other than that, I did like a lot of the products. Um, I hope this video was helpful with overhyped products and me testing them out and giving my honest review on them. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here watching. Be sure and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. I like literally feel gloss all in my teeth. <laughs>